Hi there! In this lesson we're going to learn how to create and use variables for the first time and we're also going to talk specifically about how to use number variables. Uh, we're going to go over the basic concept of a variable and then we're going to talk about how to create variables, how to change their value, and then how to use them in other places in our program. So what is a variable? Your book has a pretty wordy definition for uh, what a variable means in the context of a computer program. But in short, the simplest way to think about a variable is it's just a container in your program that you can use to hold some value that you might need to use later on. There are lots of different kinds of variables that you can use in your program, and they're sort of divided into two basic kinds. There are what we call primitives, and those are variables that we just used for simple values like numbers, letters, strings, and then on the other side, there are what we call objects and object references. Uh, and that's what really allows us to create uh, more complicated uh, objects that we can get behavior to. And it's really what object-oriented programming like Java is all about. But we're not going to get to that for a little while yet. Um, and then somewhere in the middle, just so we mention it, uh, are these things called strings. Uh, in some ways, a string acts like primitive and in some ways it acts like an object so you can kind of think about it as being a little bit of both. But we're going to be focused in this lesson on number primitives. That's the int variable for integers or the float or double variable for numbers with decimals in them. So when you want to have a variable that you can use in your program the first thing you have to do is you have to declare it or you have to create it. And in Java, like in a lot of languages, every variable has both a name and a type that tells you what kind of variable it is, like, for example, int or double. Uh, so when you first create a variable, you give it a type and a name. There are some rules for what you can and can't use for names. Every variable in Java has to have a one-word name that consists of only letters, numbers, and the underscore. And you can't start it with a number. And it can't be the same as a keyword in Java. So, for example, you couldn't name your variable public or while. Uh, those, those keywords are reserved for Java. As far as what makes a good variable name, we'll talk more about that when we talk about style. But the biggest thing is make your variable names make sense. Um, Java allows you to use long variable names, and you should use variable names that you can read and understand. Uh, we typically have our variables begin with a lowercase letter, unless they're a constant. And if your variable consists of more than one word, you can either capitalize the other letters of the other words, which some people like to do, or you can separate the words using underscores. Either way is fine. Once you've created your variable, then you can assign it a value um, as many times as you need to throughout the course of your program. And the way you do that is by using the assignment operator, which looks a lot like the equal sign that you're used to using in math. But in this class, we're not going to say equals. We're going to say gets, so that we don't get confused with the test for equality. So when you see my age and then the equal sign and then the number 36, I would read that as my age gets 36. That's the way you'll hear me talk in class. So whatever's on the right hand side of the assignment operator gets assigned to the variable that's on the left hand side. And as far as what you can put on the right hand side, you can build whatever sort of math expression you might need, uh, including any of the math symbols that you're familiar with, uh, asterisk for multiplication, uh, forward slash for division, Everything that you're used to, you can combine them all. You can use other variables to assign a new value to a variable. Uh, whatever you need to, uh, to change the value of your variable. When you have a variable that you need to use somewhere else in your program, you just write it in, in the place where you need to get that value. And what Java will do when your program runs is at the moment that you use that variable, it will look in memory to see what value is stored there, and it will replace that variable name with its current value. One thing you have to understand when you use variables is that each statement that uses a variable is separate and not related to anything else that's come before. So just as an example, some people when they first start programming get confused. If you write a statement like um, age gets 
18 plus old age. And then after that you say old age gets two, that doesn't change the value of age. Even though you use those two variables earlier, they're not connected just because you use them with an assignment operator. Every time you want to change the value of a variable, you have to use another assignment operator statement. So let's take a look at a program that uses some number primitives so we can kind of see some examples of this. And this should look familiar because it's the program that we ended up fixing in our lesson on using the debugger. So we've got a working program here. It's got two kinds of variables. Um, here we have a variable called sum, which stores the sum of the first 10 integers. And since that number is an integer, I decided to use the int type for integer to store this variable. And one thing you notice is that I declared my variable here, and then down here is where I actually gave it a value. If you want to, you can assign a value to a variable on the same line that you create it. You don't have to do it that way. It's a little confusing at first. You might want to keep things separate until you can really understand what's going on there. Um, but you can put those two statements together if you like. Now down here we have a second variable called average. And that has to be a double because the average of the first 10 integers is 5.5. Remember we ran into that problem last time. So we're going to create this as a double so that it can store those decimals. And we're going to use 10.0 so that we can make sure that the answer is a decimal. Now remember what we said about using a variable in another statement. The value of that variable gets substituted. So right here, we might as well have written average gets 55 divided by 10.0. That's the same effect that that statement has because the current value of the variable sum is equal to 55. Remember, the value of a variable gets substituted for the name of the variable when you use it in your program. And similarly down here, this pronoun statement is the same as if we had just written, if we had just written the average is 5.5, that's what this statement here would have done. So, in short, just remember you create variables, they have to have a name and a type. You have to change their variable by using the assignment operator. And when you have a variable that you use in your program, its current value gets replaced uh, in for the name of the variable when you use it.